Hey everybody, this is Jen with Garden Jen's Journey. Uh, this is going to be probably the last video I'm doing of the garden. I'm not sure. I might be doing more. We'll see. Um, gotta see how YouTube does the COPPA Act and make sure that we're in compliance so we don't get fined for um, instantly being victimized by the miswording, misuse of the COPPA law. So, but anyways, this is what my garden's looking like right now. And another reason that this will probably be one of the last gardening videos uh, this year, at least, um, is because the garden, if everything goes as we have planned, the garden's going to look a lot different next year. Um, I have my main medicinal bed here. That won't change because these are all perennials. I do have some annual medicinals I plant, but these are all perennials that take quite a few years to establish, so this is not being touched. Um, and then this is my rose bed, and it's also got some uh, irises and some daffodils and some rhubarb. This isn't going to be touched. <clears throat> this is uh, my pollinator bed. This will be um, redone. I have bee balm here in this corner, tansy there in that corner, and uh, my husband built a fence around it because the tansy gets really, really, really tall and it was falling over because of no support. Bee balm does the same thing and then uh, we're trying to keep the animals out of the middle. So, um, the ends will stay the same, but the middle is going to get come down. And then um, you see all my cattle pound trellises there and there. Um, I have garlic planted there, so that's not going to be touched until after that comes up. But what we're planning on doing is making raised beds. Um, my health is to where I can't get down on the ground and back up again very easily. It's very difficult. So he's making raised beds out of these pallets. We're gonna, um, we have a lot of pallets that we got for free. They're heat treated. They're not chemically treated, so they're perfectly safe for the garden. Um, but we're gonna be making raised beds. They're gonna be this tall out of these pallets. And they're gonna go north and south all down the garden here. This is a potato bed that's not going to move. So basically from here all the way down is going to be raised beds. Then I'll continue walking. <clears throat> As I said this area is not going to be touched this year because my, or next year, because my garlic's planted and we can't do anything until we harvest that. But this will be a uh, raised bed the following year. <clears throat> and then this here where my peppers and stuff used to be. This is all going to be a raised bed. Like I said my trellises we're going to pull up because all this is going to be raised beds if everything goes um, as planning. And then the trellises will be put back in attached to the raised beds. The trellises are what I grow beans on and all vining plants. I don't grow very many bush beans. They don't do well here. But um, with doing raised beds, I might be able to grow some. And I'm mostly looking at dried beans, not necessarily green beans for bush beans, because I grow Kentucky Wonder Pole beans like nobody's business. But um, there's a lot of dry beans that only grow as bush beans. Um, pintos are one, Canellis are another, and we consume a lot of beans because we're vegetarians. So beans are one of our main staples. So anyways, um, I've been doing back to Eden gardening here on this property for at least five years. Or no, this this will be the fifth year, going into year number six as far as on the land. Um, we moved here um, September 2015, and we started that year putting all the wood chips down and stuff. Um, back to Eden method is a great method. I highly recommend it if you're young, able-bodied, or have help. Um, we're getting older, not so able-bodied. Um, and also, our area has a very, very, very high water table. Um, this is pasture land that we're budding against. And along the pasture land, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there you see that line there. That's actually an underground creek. It used to be above ground years ago, but now it's underground. Not very far underground, though. Um, so we have a very high water table. 
And even with the back to Eden uh, method, this area is still kind of moist and damp, uh, susceptible to um, uh, diseases and things uh, that like moisture. Um, slugs uh, love moisture. My dogs love playing in the snow. <laughs> but anyway, so because of the moisture problems here, we're actually going to be doing the raised beds as well as for my health. So. Yeah, so this garden's gonna look a lot different. Um, I'm thinking about also um, moving my chicken pen back um, so my chickens have more shade in the summer because right now, um, as is in their run, they really don't have shade. Um, so it's very open. And so I'm um, thinking about moving it, the fence line here back on the other side of the garage here, on the other side, the elders. That way, in the spring and summer, they have the elderberries to uh, to uh, get under for shade and stuff. So, it's snowing again. We're expecting more snow, more cold. Um, this is Michigan winters. So, um, my beans didn't do so well this year. These are all um, Cherokee Trail of Tears beans, but with our late year, um, I really, there's a pod there. I did not get a lot of um, beans this year. So, hoping for a better near year next year, we shall see. So, but yeah, um, like I said, if all goes well, um, everything's going to be redone. And everything, well, not everything, but a lot of things will be in raised beds next year. So, Thank you so much for following me on my journey. I hope to continue this journey on YouTube, but we shall see. But anyways, wherever you guys are, whatever you're doing, I hope your day is wonderfully blessed. Take care, everybody. Bye.